Right to our top story now across the nation. Cell phone bands are becoming more and more popular in the classrooms here in Central Texas. School districts are bringing in their own restrictions from lockers to phone pouches. Well, six news reporter Cindy Deshawn checked in with districts in our area about how it's working so far and why more districts are making changes. Sydney, what'd you find out today? Yeah, Chris, districts have already seen significant changes this school year. It's all part of their mission to provide exceptional learning opportunities for kids. Our goal is not to confiscate phones or take up phones. Our goal is for students to use appropriate use of cell phones to do it in a responsible manner. More Central Texas school districts are saying no to cell phones in the classroom. Monday night, the Belton ISD Board of Trustees voted to revise their cell phone guidelines. What we did do is provide a lot more clarity on, on how we meet those expectations, uh, really clear on what having a cell phone put away actually means. This means phones must be out of sight and not in use in the classroom. If that's violated multiple times, students may have to surrender their phone at the start of the day. It's actually included in Texas Education Code and it's in board policy, so it's protected by policy and law that the school has the right to do that. Districts like Temple ISD have already taken bold moves. Uh, there's a phone locker in every single classroom and they have to put their device inside the phone locker. It is then locked for the duration of the class. And statistics show they've seen drastic changes over the last year. We've seen a decrease in student discipline referrals of over a thousand. That's not incremental, that's substantial. Our attendance rate has increased by one and a half percent from last year to this year at this time. That is substantial when you're talking 2,300 students. Our failure rate has decreased substantially. And students see the change themselves too. I had a student today, today, tell me, hey, I know the cell phone policy was difficult, but you know what? We don't see cyberbullying. You can't cyberbully if you don't have your device. Now, I also reached out to Colleen ISD. They sent me a statement saying in part their cell phone pouch policy decision was bold too, but they've seen more students eating lunch. Cafeterias are noisier because students are talking and teachers are seeing more engagement in the classroom. This is great news, Chris. Yeah, it's like the good old days. Yes. It's like we're going back to the 80s or something. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much, Sydney.